Okere Mifta Shafi is an assistant professor at Ankara Social Science University. For more on the story, he joins us now live. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, first off, the Sudanese Professionals Authority said they were going to come up with their own list of names for a leadership council. That was meant to be today, I believe, but that hasn't happened. What do you think is happening here? Well, obviously, there are a number of factors currently affecting the ongoing the political transition in, 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 in Sudan. On the one hand, you have a number of foreign actors are now becoming more visible, particularly the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and, and, and essentially the United States as well. So the what, what you call this military rule is now becoming a sort of norm in the context of Africa. You have now uh, the LCC now becoming more stronger and stronger again. You have the case with Libya, with Al Khalifa Haftar becoming more powerful in that part of Africa. And therefore, there is a growing tension, a, a sense of a problem associated with the military control in Africa. And therefore, the Sudanese Professional Association, who are actually spearheading this uh, political uh, protest in Khartoum, I think they are a little bit worried about the possible uh, role the military may play in the uh, emerging the political uh, trajectory in Khartoum. And therefore, I think they are trying their best uh, to control, or if you like, uh, follow the uh, possibility of any aggressive move on behalf of the military council. And therefore, this is, I think, one of the ways in which they, you know, uh, take control of the possibility of any aggressive move on, on, the, on behalf of the military uh, rule uh, currently uh, ruling the uh, Sudan at this point in time. It's, I mean, so in a sense, the point what I'm trying to make is the Sudanese transitional government, particularly now essentially controlled by the military, is likely to continue to continue ruling the country for, for the, uh, as I have pointed out earlier at the very beginning when uh, Al Bashir was ousted in April 11th. Uh, so there is a you know a fear that the military may have a much more snowballing power in the emerging political uh, field in Sudan, and therefore I think they are trying their best to avoid the possibility of uh, allowing the military the military to to have. Uh, some unpredictable uh, but sudden emergency in the uh, Sudanese political scene. Mm. So you think then that, the, uh, as you're saying, that the, the military will remain in power in some way. Do you then foresee the protesters backing down in some way? Or, or how do you see this playing out? Well, essentially, that's one important factor which will uh, definitely will uh, determine the extent to which the transition will succeed. But obviously, since the, profession, the Sudanese Professional Association, they are working hard to maintain the momentum of this protest. I think it's likely that the protest will definitely will continue. And again, uh, there are also some indications starting from the uh, April 11th, the transition of the government. Uh, was, you know, doing a number of changes in terms of the individuals who are leading the uh, transitional uh, uh, government, starting from Ahmed Al-Awad, and now now you have the Abdul Rahman, uh, Abdullah Al-Burhan, -Al -Al and probably we don't know what's going to come next. And essentially, they were making concessions, if you like, in the course of this two or so weeks. And so that this concession, this uh, sort of uh, openness to understand, to give voices to the local protesters will probably will continue and that will again reinforces the uh, protest essentially we know that the uh, sudanese national congress party which was uh, established by uh, hassan al-bashir ruling for the last three decades and therefore in these three decades the people were suffering significantly economically in terms of human rights and a number of crises and therefore that you know this accumulated grievance will definitely will fuel the uh, uh, current political transition. And I, I, I don't uh, expect that, that they will back down from mm. the current uh, political uh, 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 movement. Mm -mm. Well, I'll have to leave it there for time, unfortunately. That's Mukarim Mr. Shafi, an assistant professor at Ankara Social Science University. Thank you.